30 years ago in that building where a small truck coming from France arrived uh, the, the, in the evening bringing us the first uh, SIMS instruments. Now, after 30 years, we are here organizing a, an international SIM school, the Trento SIM school, uh, which is the satellite event of the uh, international conference, which will be held in Riva del Garda in, uh, starting uh, Sunday. Uh, it's a pleasure for us to have uh, among the teachers of our school the chair of the International Steering Committee of the SIMS conference, uh, Nicolas Vinograd from Penn State University. So, Nick, what is your feeling about the level uh, of the student here at, at our school? Well, Mariano, it's been a real pleasure to be here for several days and have a chance to visit the uh, Bruno Kessler Foundation. And uh, I've gotten a chance to, to know quite a few of these students. I'm very impressed with the fact that we have more students here than expected. Uh, the students come from all over Europe, Asia, and the United States, so they represent a great diversity of talents that uh, portends a great future for our technology. Uh, after the interaction with this student at the school, what do you think is the future of, our, uh, of the technology of our study? Well, I'm not sure that specifically where things like this can go in the next several decades, but I do know from talking with these students that many of them are quite young. They've been working in the field for only a brief period of time. Yeah. They're very creative young people. And so I expect that their talents will come, will bear a great deal of fruit in the, in the years to come. So I'm very optimistic that all of us will see great things happening. We have to explain what is the, 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 this technique, secondary ion mass spectrometry. So secondary ion mass spectrometry consists of a method where we bombard a solid with an energetic particle and measure by mass spectrometry the molecules that come off the surface of that particular material. In a way, it's like high-definition imaging for chemists, and we can, in fact, learn a lot about nanoscopic-sized particles, learn about their chemistry, their shapes, in a way that no other methods can provide. 